Hey guys, hope you're doing well and safe at home. My name is John Erickson, auditioning for the role of Aaron, represented by MKM. Hi, are you Aaron? Wh what do you want? We heard the story of your attack. I told you guys to leave me alone. Whoa, 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 we just want to talk. We believe your story. We heard the story of the attack and we believe you. We know vampires are real and we know they're a threat. And getting information from you could help us track these things and make sure it doesn't happen to someone else. We should talk about this inside. We're tracking these things that we believe are in the area and attacking people. So we're hoping you can walk us through what happened and maybe we can help prevent this from happening to somebody else. Okay, so this is about a year ago. I was homeless and I just needed a place to stay for a while to get back on my feet. That's when I met Ben and Bianca. They offered me a bedroom in their apartment, rent free. It was great at first. Pretty soon, they made rules. First, I wasn't allowed to leave my room. Then, I couldn't leave the house. I thought I was being kidnapped or held prisoner. I confronted them. I, they, they were shocked and offended. And they said it was nothing like that. They just wanted some of my blood. How were they trying to collect it? They, they broached the idea of cutting me. Just a, uh, just a little, they said, to take some of his blood for an experiment they were doing. It was weird. But I was getting free room and board, and I, I sort of owed them, so I went along with their request. But then I saw them drinking it. When I said no to giving them more blood, they lost it. That night, I, I was awoken by Ben stabbing my arm. Somehow I broke free and, and ran outside. Oh, I didn't want to call the police because there was a prior warrant out for me, but the neighbors who I'd run to for help insisted. <laughs> the cops were even scared because they saw evidence that Ben and Bianca tried to bottle up my blood and drink it later. They were going to bleed me to dry over the course of a period of time or, or kill me that night. Do you know where Ben and Bianca are today? No. I haven't seen or heard from them since, thank God. The cops said they never found them. That's too bad. We really like to find them. Where did you meet them? I met them while I was living in a homeless camp in a storm drain outside the outskirts of Tucson. I think it might be a vampire lair.